We're really excited to be showing you Skylander Swap Force, which is the next installment in the franchise being developed by Vicarious Visions. We're going to actually start the demo tonight with a cutscene, and the reason is we want to show how we're taking storytelling to a whole new level. What you'll immediately notice is just how dynamic and how action-packed this cutscene is, because in Skylander Swap Force, we're going to be offering a cinematic experience that we haven't seen before in the franchise. And what's cool to note is this is actually an in-game cutscene. It's beautiful, it's amazing, and what you'll see is how the game will actually look itself. So without further ado, we're going to show you Skylander Swap Force. According to the map, Iron Jaw Gulch is somewhere to the west, east. Either way, we're heading in the wrong direction, probably. You know what? It'll be fine. Ah, of course it'll be fine. Embrace the adventure, Flynn. Uh, you know what your problem is? You rely too much on maps and machines to find your way. You ignore your instincts. I happen to like machines. And ignoring my instincts is the only reason I'm even getting on this bird. All I'm saying is, if where you are is the place you're supposed to be, then you're never really lost. I don't even know what you just said right there. But look, if we are lost, it's only because your squawk and feather mattress here can't fly straight. You heard me. Uh... It's moments like these when it's nice to have doors! Oh no, those airship pirates are attacking the city! That's not the only thing! Look out! Just take one part Cracker Jack timing, add 17 parts pure liquid awesome, and boom! I call them Flint Stinks. It's all up here. <laughs> I think after this, we need to have a talk about your catchphrase. But first, we've got to help the Skylanders take out the rest of those airships. So as Flynn would say, that was awesome. But now let's dive into the demo, and we're going to actually start with an existing character, this is Eruptor. He's a fire character that we introduced with the first game, Spyro's Adventure. And the reason we're starting with him is because we want to demonstrate how we're supporting every character and every toy from the previous game. That means talk. every single toy from Spyro's Adventure and Skylander's Giants will be fully playable in Skylander's Swap Force. And that includes levels, uh, level character levels, uh, upgrades, and everything that you've collected along your journeys in Skylands. So, Take a look at the graphics as well. You can see from the cutscene that we just showed that we're really bringing graphics to a whole new level. The team at Vicarious Visions has created a brand new graphics engine. And what that's allowing us to do is to create worlds and environments that are lush, very detailed, and really bringing Skylands to life in a way that we haven't seen before. And this high definition detail applies to everything in the world. So you can take a look at Eruptor there and really see how cool he is in high definition glory. But we're not here just to show the existing characters, so I want to take this opportunity to show you one of our new Skylanders. We're going to start with a tech character, and his name is Magna Charge. And what you'll see is that Magna Charge is a magnet robot. He's really cool, he's a lot of fun, a great concept for a character, and he can do a lot of cool things. First and foremost, like any cool magnet, he can use his ability to pick up objects and throw them around the environment or throw them around at enemies. He also has an energy gun, which he can use to blast enemies. And he zooms around on this energy ball, which gives him a lot of speed and a lot of agility. He's a well-rounded character that we think fans will really enjoy. Now, speaking of fans, one of the things that we're asked quite a bit is, when will my Skylanders be able to jump? And I'm proud to say that in Skylander Swap Force, we're going to be introducing the ability to jump not only for the new characters, but for every single character in the franchise. So all of your characters from Spyro's Adventure and Giants will also have this ability, and it's really going to add an interesting dynamic to the gameplay. So Lou here is going to jump on over to Marshall Wheelock, and we're going to find out exactly what it is that we need to do in this level. You're a sight for sore eyes, Skylander. I'm Marshall Wheelock, the long teeth of the law in these parts. Them Grable airships has given us a devil of a time, but if we can get up top and turn our cannons on them, it'll be a real turkey shoot. All right, 
So the marshal has told us that we need to find these airships that are attacking the city and destroy them. So we're going to continue on in the level here. And what you'll see is that we just entered a water power zone. And what this means is that if we have a water Skylander, it'll add certain boosts to our abilities and stats, making us a little bit more powerful. Fortunately, we have a new water Skylander to show. So we're going to take the character Washbuckler and bring him to life in the game and show you how cool he is. All right. So you can see that he's a pirate octopus. And like any good pirate, he has a trusty cutlass, which you can use for short range attacks. He also has a bubble gun, which is a lot of fun to use against enemies. And he's got these really awesome tentacles, which give a lot of cool combat moves and makes him really effective in a lot of different situations. You know, one of the things that we're also asked a lot is, how is it that you can continue to create characters that are varied and, and interesting when you've already released so many of these with the previous games? And really the answer is simple. We have an awesome creative team behind this franchise, and the guys at Vicarious Vision have done a great job continuing to push the bar on character design and coming up with cool concepts that add a lot of variety, a lot of personality, which is what the Skylanders brand is all about. So we're going to continue on, and Lou's going to bring up this bridge here, and what we're going to show you are some new enemies. So in addition to all of the new characters, all of the new heroes that we're introducing, we have a whole new set of enemies, we have a whole new set of non-playable characters. We're really broadening the world of Skylands. And so here we have one of our new sub-bosses, the Fire Gear Golem, and we're going to take a look and see how Lou fares against him. All right, so Lou's trying to get in close here to use the Cutlass attack. He's getting pretty worked here, though, from the fire. So what you might be asking yourself is, wouldn't it be cool if I could take the speed and agility of Magna Charge and the powerful attack of Washbuckler and bring them together? And this, ladies and gentlemen, brings us to our big innovation for 2013, which is dynamic swap ability. What this allows is for portal masters everywhere to take the top half of one toy, the bottom half of another, and interchange them freely to create your own custom Skylander. So Lou's going to take the bottom half of Magna Charge, he's going to take the top half of Washbuckler, and he's going to create his own custom Skylander. All right, so now we have Wash Charge. This is something that's really, really cool. It's a great innovation that we're very excited about because it not only adds a new play pattern to the physical play with the toys, but it has a whole, new t a whole new dimension to this Toys to Life category that we created. It's going to add endless replayability because if you do the math, 16 new Swap Force characters equals over 250 unique combinations. This is something that's very exciting because what we strive for in Skylands is to always provide variety. And here we're giving players the power of choice, which is something that is going to really expand the Skylands experience. Now, in addition to our 16 new Swap Force characters, we're also introducing 16 new core characters. So we're going to show you a couple of those right now, starting with our new undead character, who we call Roller Brawl. Now, Roller Brawl is a lot of fun. As you can see, she's inspired by the sport of roller derby. She can do a lot of cool things. She can headbutt enemies, knocking them back. She also has some powerful claws that she can use as a close-up attack. And for a ranged attack, she can actually fire her saw blades that she uses to move around. Really, really cool. One of the characters that we think kids are really going to engage with. Now, as cool as Rollerball is, I actually want to show you one of my own personal favorite new characters. He's a new tech character who we call Countdown, and he is literally a walking time bomb. Now, he's a lot of fun. He's got a lot of personality, and we're going to show you some of the things he can do. So Lou's going to walk over to this next section here, and we're going to take a quick ride up this platform to the next section in the level, and we're going to show you a couple of his cool moves. The hourglass construct here pumps water throughout all of Iron Jaw Gulch and the surrounding towns. If you don't take out them airships, folks are going to get mighty thirsty around here. All right. So you can see the countdown has these awesome rockets on his hands. He can use those for a really powerful range attack. But this is why I love countdown so much. He has the ability to fire his own head at enemies, which is just pure awesomeness. Again, this is one of those characters that really, I think, exudes the, the charm and the quirkiness that we brought to this brand and has made it stand out above all others. Now, what I want to do is show you yet another new Swap Force character. This is one of our fire characters, and we call him Blast Zone. Now, Blast Zone is awesome. He's powerful. He's this cool knight. 
armor filled with fire, and he has some really cool varied attacks. First and foremost, he can lob bombs, which is always something that comes in handy. He can also spit fire for a close-up attack, and probably coolest of all, he has a super powerful rocket charge, which comes in handy in a lot of different situations. So Lou's gonna blast on over to Marshal Wheelock, and we're gonna see what we need to do next. Hey, you're just in time, Skylander. That Greeval airship is creeping through the canyon. All right, so Marshal Wheelock has said that we gotta get through this zone to find the airship and destroy it. And this is a good opportunity for us to talk about one of our big new features that we're calling Swap Force Zones. And Swap Force Zones are based on using Swap Force characters, and in particular, the ability that is associated with their bottom half. So you can see here, there's a rocket icon. That means we need a character with a rocket ability to enter this zone. And fortunately, Blast Zone has cool rocket boots. So we're gonna be able to use him to go inside the zone and show you what it's all about. All right, so what you see is Blast Zone flying around. This is a brand new mechanic that we've never seen in Skylands before. And the cool thing is that it's just one of many new mechanics. We have these rocket zones, which have gameplay centered around that particular mechanic, but we're also gonna have climbing zones where characters like Washbuckler can use his tentacles and all sorts of climbing gameplay. We're gonna have teleport zones, we're gonna have speed zones, we're gonna have dig zones, bounce zones. We're really creating a very wide range of new gameplay mechanics that's gonna take the Skylanders experience to another level and keep it very interesting and very fresh. And it's something that we're really, really excited about. So here we see Lou flying through the rings in a rocket zone. He turns the corner, and there's the airship that we've been looking for. It has a big bullseye, so I don't think Lou's gonna have any trouble destroying it. Good job. So this brings us to the end of the demo, and as you can see, we're introducing a lot of cool things. First and foremost, our brand new innovation for 2013, dynamic swappability, giving players the power of choice. Choose how you fight, choose how you move. This is something that's gonna add endless replayability to the Skylanders experience. We have a brand new graphics engine. It's bringing Skylanders to life like we've never seen before. We're honoring the value of existing collections. We have an awesome set of new gameplay mechanics in our Swap Force Zones. And last but not least, since the fans asked for it, the ability to jump. So we're really excited about this game. I appreciate being able to give you the opportunity to get a sneak peek. Stay tuned, we'll have a lot more to show you in the future. Thanks, everyone.